I believe that the noise level of an electric jet will define its success or failure. To be successful in capture larger market share, an air taxi company needs to pick up customers as close to their origin as possible and deliver them as close to their destination as possible. This means regular flights in and out of build-up areas. This will only be possible if the electric aircraft is really quiet. Joby released a couple of videos to show just how quiet their aircraft is in both hover and cruise. Lilium just recently shared the video of its aircraft in its final approach. I would like to compare the noise profile of these two aircraft to see which sound is more pleasant. Now, don't forget to leave a comment. Which sound profile do you find more pleasant, that is of Joby or Lilium? Let me start by showing you a video of Joby during a hover at approximately 50 meters, that is 165 feet. We still have a long and challenging journey ahead of us, but with the reInvent team at our side, we are one step closer to making this fantastic future real. We can't wait to welcome you on board. Thank you so much. So that is a very low noise level. Very impressive. The pitch is not too low and not too high. It sort of blends in with the ambient sound of the environment. This is achieved due to large diameter propellers that rotate at a lower rate. This design results in a low intensity, low frequency pressure waves. Next, in order to compare apples to apples, I will show you both aircraft during hover at approximately 100 meters, that is 330 feet. First, take a listen to Joby. Today, we wanted to give another demonstration of just how quiet our aircraft is. This is a calibrated decimal meter, and over here behind me is our aircraft in hover. At 55 decibels, this is more than a thousand times quieter than a helicopter taking off at 90 decibels. As you can see and hear, it is not just quiet quantitatively, but also qualitatively, with noise that blends into the background. It is not the low frequency wop wop of a helicopter, which travels for miles and penetrates buildings, nor is it the high frequency whine of a drone. Our goal was to mimic the character of natural sounds like the wind or the ocean. So that is 55 decibels during hover at 100 meters. That is very quiet. In fact, that is more quiet than what Joby presented the noise signature to be in their investor presentation. Originally, it was 65 decibels, but now we see it is more like 55 decibels. That sound is 10 times less powerful. Yes, 10 times. Keep in mind that the decibel scale is a logarithmic scale. So, for example, 10 decibel sound is 10 times more powerful than a 0 decibel sound. 20 decibel sound is 100 times more powerful than a zero decibel sound, and so forth. Now, take a listen to Lilium Jet during landing at 150 meters to 100 meters. That is approximately 500 feet to 330 feet. Previously, we were told that Lilium Jet measured 60 decibels at 100 meters. That is comparable to standing near a dishwasher. However, from this comparison, it is clear that Lilium Jet is a lot louder than Joby Jet. It produces higher frequency sound that, in my opinion, is less pleasant. In fact, it kind of reminds me of a sound of a vacuum cleaner. Lilium did say that they will add acoustic liners to further improve the sound level of their serial aircraft. I'm not sure that will have a significant impact on the reduction of the noise level, but we shall wait and see. Now, 
We need not be too surprised that Joabi aircraft is quieter than Lilium aircraft. That was expected given that Lilium utilizes smaller propellers that in order to generate comparable thrust to larger propellers need to revolve at higher RPM. One of my viewers, Lenny, did highlight that issue a week ago. Lilium design is unique and very appealing. However, the noise pitch and level, if not addressed, may override the other technical aspects that are superior to other electric aircraft. We do need to keep in mind that both aircraft are still in development and further design improvements are to be expected. And now I would like to leave you with a video comparing the noise level of Joby aircraft to other aircraft during cruise. As always, feel free to like, comment, share the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Ciao! In addition to optimizing the aircraft design to be quiet and hover, we have designed it to be even quieter in cruise. The propellers spin at less than half the speed in cruise that they spin in hover. This means that the aircraft goes from quiet and hover to nearly silent in cruise. We've designed, built, and tested dozens of full-scale propeller designs over the years and modeled dozens more, capturing incremental learning and benefits along the way to get that natural sound profile that I mentioned earlier. This is one of the harder things to do in this sector. Thank mm -hmm. you.